Yeah, the mayor made that announcement this morning at Mobile City Council. The company that is set to work on the project here on the 23 acres that the Civic Center sits on is from Baltimore. But this is really the beginning of what will be on that 23 acres. It's an announcement that almost no one we spoke to was surprised by. About a week after one of two remaining companies pulled themselves from consideration on the Civic Center project, Mayor Stimson announces the Cordish companies will tackle it. Those 18 Mardi Gras organizations handed the mayor a list of 15 things they'd like to see in a new facility. The list was posted on Facebook by Mobile Mask. Some of it includes it must be downtown, have a stage with good lighting, good security, changing facilities, and fit up to 6,000 people at once. I would hate to see that building destroyed. The news over the redevelopment of the site has caused tension the past few weeks between the city and Mardi Gras organizations. Many don't want to go on camera, but in a statement today given to News 5 from the spokesperson of the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Society Alliance, says, quote, it's imperative to have a venue that meets the criteria in order to be successful. Otherwise, it's catastrophic long term to Mardi Gras, end quote. To keep and repair, the current facility downtown would cost the city about 50 50 million dollars. I don't think any of us are interested in putting 50 million dollars into our present civic center. The mayor says he plans to meet with the Cornish companies in the coming days to develop a plan. Reporting in Mobile, I'm Mary Smith, WKRG News 5.